Thunderwolf Cavalry is a special unit of the Space Wolves chapter that performs exploration and hit and run attacks. Fanrician wolves are huge and once tamed, quote unquote, Space Marines can ride them and lay waste to unfortunate enemies. In early 2023, Joy Toy released a couple of them and I got one of these big boys recently on sale. Better late than ever, I guess. The box is quite big, not like a Redemptor Dreadnought, but we are almost there. It is quite tight, so extracting it uh, is not as easy as it seems, but at least there is a protection for the content, and I prefer it this way. A big wolf and a firstborn space wolf, let's see how they fare. First of all, there is another brown wolf from Joy Toy, but I'm not really collecting space wolves, so having only one is enough for me. And the black wolf looked more fitting for this kind of unit, in my opinion. Yup, quite heavy. This is a usual plastic container from Joy Toy, and I don't think this way to be due to the Space Marine figure. Is the wolf that heavy? Ah, a nice feral firstborn space wolf with an older power armor and related accessories and backpack. And finally the big wolf in two parts. It does not look broken, so we need to take a look at it. And of course more accessories for our rider. Let's start with the wolf, because this is the main selling point. Sculpt and painting are awesome. Grey highlights all around, nice fangs and eyes, and a robotic left leg that gives this beast a great 40k touch. While the painting looks great, articulations are just quite limited to the, for the head, but looks good enough for the legs, at least for what you would expect to do with a wolf figure. There are several articulation points, but do not expect to do incredible torsions or flexes. It feels quite heavy, it is not empty for sure, on the contrary, the body seems a big chunk of plastic. The central peg is quite big and keeps the two halves together, but it has problems if you hold the wolf from the middle section under the saddle. The saddle itself stays in place and there is no risk for the rider to fall down because of unexpected rotations. So the initial impression is that it looks great, the articulations are good enough for acting as a cavalry and the weight is quite sensible. At least the entire figure will remain stable on the shelf, but of course it will strain the central peg, which can easily snap off in some cases, at least with this one. I got it because of the look, so the issues are minor for me and I'm positively impressed. Being an older figure, I can't talk good enough about the paint job that Joy Toy did with these days. While this quality has been lost with more recent figures, especially Space Marines units like Ultramarines, the release of the giant Arjax give, gives me hope. Joy Toy seems to keep a good level of quality for Space Wolves figures, which I hope they will keep with future releases. This is what I really want from them. Crank up less figures, but with higher quality, even if this means a small increase in price. Now we can move to Road, the badass Space Marine Rider. And immediately it is evident that the Space Wolf charisma is spreading out, Again, a pre great paint job for the head, with the highlights, and there are shading for the entire armor. I quite like the Space Wolf's colors, with glacial light blue and yellow pauldrons. And now that I think about it, all these Space Wolf's figures are always screaming. 
nicely representing the savagery of these space vikings. I also appreciate the these firstborn warriors wear the Mark VII, I believe, power armor, a nice change from the Mark X used by all Primaris releases. Rod is equipped with a nice small round shield with a creepy animal skull on the front and a rotating handle on the back. We then have a short double-edged chainsword, which must be more practical when riding beasts apparently. And also a nicely decorated plasma pistol that hopefully won't overheat and blow in its flames. Finally, a set of four old generation hands for helping posing him. Road can sit quite easily on the saddle and grab the handle without much effort. I prefer this pose because wearing a shield and a chainsword at the same time while riding a feral wolf sounds a bit odd to me. Of course, it depends on your personal preferences. There is no stand included, so having a scene with a wolf jumping over his prey while will require some additional effort, but you can always build a rocky base and have the wolf look at their fearful prey from a higher ground. But do not expect much more since the articulation for the head is limited while it is ok for the legs. The result is impressive, you can understand how big the thunder wolf is compared to the space marine figure, but this is something that makes the presence visible on the shelf. I'm quite happy with this, and if you include all other Space Wolves figures, you can build a nice band of brothers. All Space Wolves have this frenzy look of savage warriors going to slaughter everyone and everything, hopefully not just civilians as they did during the Horus Heresy on Prospero, but assuming that they fight for the good cause, they are an impressive set of badass warriors. They have quite a peculiar look and feel, and even a small wolf pack like mine is one of the better characterized. I love their peculiar style with all those runes, pelts, bone necklaces and customized weapons. I hope Joytoy will release also Space Wolves Terminators in the future. They will be such a welcome addition to my personal collection, and I believe yours too. If you are a Space Wolves fan, I think you should give this one a chance. It is really a great addition to your collection, even despite the minor quality issues with packs. But the overall result is well worth, and you can find it often on sale these days. Well, this is all that I have to say. Thanks for watching until now, have a nice rest of the day and see you soon!